Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today we're going to be testing some amazing headlights, headlight bulbs, I should say, from Basla. So they sent me this set of headlight bulbs and I'm super, super excited, guys. And uh, really thank you, Basla, so much for everything. You know, I really appreciate you guys because you guys have sent me those uh, lights for my 190E and they're LED lights and they're super amazing, super bright, super nice. And I'm really, really digging them. So let's go ahead and test these out of this amazing 1991 Mercedes 420 SEL, the W126, 318,000 mile classic car amazing machine so let's go ahead and open this box up guys all right guys so here is the package and there are two bulbs inside and they actually asked me what kind of uh, color i want and i told them kind of like an amber maybe like this so they told me they chose something and they um you know sent it to me so we're going to test it out right now and make sure you guys check out their website they have a lot of choices for the lights and they have everything they have Headlights, you know, low beams, high beams, turn signal bulbs, everything you guys could ever imagine. They're actually, a bunch of them are LEDs, so they're really nice. And some of them are super nice because they have the cooling fan built into those LEDs. So it's pretty amazing. Think about how cool those LEDs run, but then with the cooling fan, they're even cooler. So it's pretty amazing. And they also look really nice. And on the side of the package, they have uh, a bunch of different comparisons. Um, so... It's really awesome. They have white LEDs, yellow, uh, warm yellow, warning flash yellow, whatever, all that. It's really awesome. So this is what's inside the package. It's actually even like it came with the, the manual. So that's pretty awesome. All right, obviously I'm, uh, I know everything, so I'm not gonna worry about the manual. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so th this uh, should be mostly like plug and play if anything so we're gonna check it out as you can see right here and so it has a plug and play it's kind of it's got a this uh ballast resistor but um i just really like it because it's plug and play so i don't have to do any any modifications so whatever car you're looking your you know the lights for uh you know make sure you just ask them if you, you don't have like the knowledge or you don't know which bulbs to choose you can just always like contact them they will tell you which ones to choose uh so i wanted the plug and play option so they had it for this car so that's awesome and this is a w126 amazing amazing legendary car they don't make them like they used to 318,000 miles amazing machine all right guys we're gonna go ahead and install these amazing lights from basla basla once again thank you guys so much for all your support and everything you guys are awesome i love your products i love your lights i love everything you guys have it's amazing all right so let's go ahead and uh remove you know the cover all right and this is another thing i love old school cars everything is easy to get to it's just amazing look how much space there is here to get to everything all right so we're gonna there's a ring that you have to actually twist like that the whole thing comes out obviously turn off your lights first There's the bulb. Okay, we're gonna literally just disconnect it. it. Has tabs broken on this one, sadly. There you go. There's a three pin bulb. All right, guys, I apologize for the background noises, but uh, in order for you to install this ring, you actually have to slide this piece with the red O-ring out first. So carefully slide it forward, and then you're gonna install the ring, and then you're gonna install this piece back on. Otherwise, there's no way you can install this ring because of this cable right here. Also, this piece uh, has two O-rings right here, two silicone O-rings, so make sure you're being careful, don't lose them put some silicone paste on it so they don't slide off.
or get pinched. All right, so here's how you're gonna install it. Okay, so it has to be facing like this. And this letter B has to be straight. And Basla name has to be on top. So you literally just slide it like this. This might take a little bit of patience, guys, all right? But eventually you'll be able to do it. Make sure it sits straight. You can also look through the glass um, and you will be able to see where it sits, all right? So you have to make sure that it sits straight, like centered. All right, so it's all installed now. Looks like this, and now I have to just twist that ring There you go. Heard the click. Okay. Okay, so the bulb is installed. All right. Sits so there pretty good. Now what we have to do is we have to uh, connect the rest of our parts. So this, and just literally plug and play. And then later on, um, this one's nice. It actually has a cap too, after you connect it. So it will never come loose. And after that, we're gonna put everything back together. Uh, I just have to, you know, make sure I position this somehow, somewhere, you know, because I wanna keep everything inside and all these parts. I don't like where there's a bunch of aftermarket stuff just sticks out everywhere. All right, so this is connected and now I'm just gonna screw this on. This is pretty nice. It's just hard to do it with one hand. Okay, now we have to, you know, route everything nicely, probably zip tie a couple things. All right guys, so it was a little bit of a challenge to, you know, shove all those wires into the headlight, but I was able to do it. I'm gonna show you how I did it. And uh, after we install the cover, it's gonna be basically like factory. It's gonna be really nice. There's gonna be no aftermarket spaghetti you know around the engine compartment so that's my goal basically you know i don't like when there's a bunch of aftermarket wires everywhere so and here you guys go this is what it looks like uh, everything is all nicely packed in there okay i zip tied these two together and as you can see the ballast is on this side and then the factory connector is on this side and everything is pretty firm like it's not really gonna move much after i put the cover on so let's install this cover and we're done with this side cover that's it look at this guys look at that clean install that's awesome all right i'm gonna do that side and then we're gonna see how those lights look like there you guys have it this is this side all ready to go so this is what it looks like during the daytime i'll show you later what it looks like during the nighttime when it's dark outside also right now the headlights are on and as you can see there is your fan which is so amazing guys it's literally blowing air this is so awesome also what i did is i actually had these uh lights running for a little bit and i wanted to make sure that those ballasts they do not get uh hot uh, so it won't like melt my plastic you know housings or anything like that for the headlights so everything is good on that side so i'm ready to install this cover back and we're good to go all right guys there's the sunset beautiful washington sunset and um it's pretty dark and let's go ahead and test out these lights i'm gonna turn them on and let's see what happens look at that 
that is actually pretty amazing that looks super awesome that is super bright and uh, i'm actually like happy i'm super happy about it because the lights are not uh like they're actually aimed uh pretty accurately i would say you know they're not like too high but that's pretty awesome guys this is amazing and just uh you know otherwise like if this long grass wasn't there like you would see uh you know these lights actually shine up like probably on, not entire course of you know that field but uh, just a lot more so i'm really really happy you know really thank you basla these lights are amazing guys you're you really made my day thank you so much now if i try to turn on my fog lamps so this is with the fog lamps on and uh, you know let's actually go ahead and look at those lights and they look fantastic guys they look really nice and bright i'm digging i'm digging the looks of this car it's so so nice amazing and actually my camera you know it sucks it's not showing everything properly but you know in real life this looks beautiful